It's more and more apparent that the human microbiome touches everything, all aspects of health and disease. And we're at a frontier. We're at an early point. I've compared this to, uh, it's the year 1800, and we're looking at a map of Africa. And we see the outlines, but we don't know much about the interior. And now the research is to understand the interior and wh exactly what's going on. My focus is, it really has an evolutionary basis. And uh, our hypothesis is that the microbes in the human body are not accidental, but they have co-evolved with humans over a very long period of time. And the second part of the hypothesis is that things have changed in the last century, and that we are, we are losing our ancient microbes, and that is what is fueling disease. Many of the diseases that are now rising, like obesity, diabetes, autoimmunity, asthma, and our research is focused in these areas. We're predominantly looking at experimental models in mice where we can model changes in the microbiome, especially induced by antibiotics, and to determine whether we can develop the phenotypes that are being seen in human populations. And so far, things are going well. Uh, I think there are two perspectives to consider. One is technical and the other is clinical. Uh, because of the importance of the topic, we need tremendous development of tools. Informatic tools, chemical tools, uh, uh, DNA and other sequencing and analysis tools. Those are, those are the technical aspects. The clinical aspects involve the marriage of, of physicians and physician scientists who have populations of patients to study with almost any disease. It could be lupus, it could be inflammatory bowel disease, <clears throat> it could be atherosclerotic heart disease, and to develop groups of ca cases and controls, to develop prospective studies and longitudinal studies, and then and to archive specimens from these individuals so that we can test clinical hypotheses about the microbiome.